Hi, welcome. We've just made a tutorial of Plank and this is how Plasma may look on your system as well. Now we have here this Plank that's active. The Sapphire icons have been activated and there's a new theme here and it's at the top. This video is going to be about an alternative and if you install Latte, which is the other dock, then it's actually really built for Plasma. You'll see if you are an Arc Linux and you have XFC Openbox i3 there and you decide to do the following with us and that's sudo pacman minus s latte right and it's called latte doc in full then you'll see not here because we're on plasma but if you are on xfc for instance you'll see a lot of dependencies coming in so it needs a lot of plasma applications but here of course it's just one line everything is already there it's plasma so latte doc is created for plasma now let's move this guy to the side so let's repeat this because it's, it's you have to find it right so right mouse click doesn't do anything really uh, anywhere huh, here we have some luck here we can go to preferences all the way at the top but I always always do control to the left yeah left control right mouse click makes me very easy wherever I click I get the preferences that's what I want to put it to the left right okay so here is plank and we're gonna put latte on top there and compare it a little bit so latte is installed here it is latte doc once we start it that's a bit specific once we start it what happens Control H dot config auto start. Here it is, Latte. So Latte is already in there. So in previous tutorial we had we launched Plank and Plank was not in here. We had to do an extra action auto start. So why is this? Because software engineers think about it and say, okay, he launches Latte, so I will put myself in the auto start. So we don't have to think about it anymore. That's great, right? So next time I boot up, Latte is gonna be there. Now, where is Latte? Latte is at the wrong place. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> so we're gonna move you to the right then. So we have Plank to the right, okay? And we have the other guy here to the left. So this is Latte. The latte uh, kind of look and let's experiment with this thing so right mouse click again here we can have the dock and the panel settings and we have the latte configuration so this cannot be moved it's it's there um, right mouse click dock and panel settings bottom all right it's there to the left to the top i don't need to go all over it let's go to the top that's nicer i think so the top left align center align right align justify i suppose or well, justifies i don't know center is probably best always visible dodge active dodge all windows the things you normally expect in a dock you can set it on the primary i have two screens remember so i can switch if i want to i'm going to come back to the layout later the size how big do you like your icons up there let's try to get more or less the same might be 48 something like that zoom on the hover 80 percent that was enough applet distance and make a little bit more show the background don't show the background give it more size the size goes up and up and up and up and then you can make it less opaque or solid i always like have it opaque that's just the choice and shadow no shadow you choose right size goes all the way down if you like like this this is really the last thing you can do this is zero right all right so yeah fine nice um, we have some some change here some possibilities animations active indicator when we have here this little blue dot I hope you see it on YouTube and here as well so a line style line internals dots is this line is that do not see a lot of difference but 
it is reverse that works here you see the blue thing maybe we need to restart it it happens that we have to do that i don't know so don't really see it then we have a glow oh yeah there's a little bit black line behind it so we can do a glow applet shadows show not show you clearly see the shadow which i would kind of like opacity a little bit less the size you can change things that's great and then the length that's the length of the panel maximum length it says here and the offset for whatever reason you might need that let's put it back to zero okay tasks a lot of things different color from minimize windows preview windows and hovering if you hover over it you have a preview show progress okay what's this again okay and then the tweaks ah by the way i've uh, probably done that in another exercise another trial i mean of latte I've put it probably to advanced. Might he might have remembered that from the last time. So advanced is on. So you have more choices. Otherwise, it's really well, not that much you can change. So the tweak blur for panel background. Yes or no? Okay. What it's what the last thing uh, you have to do if you can do you don't have to do anything it's Linux Linux is freedom but what you can do is go to configure and we have here some settings here as well enable auto start during startup oh yeah that's why it's there and mouse sensitivity more all right but it is this thing you it's, it's that's interesting um, I really don't like the rest of these guys um, so you can switch to one of these things new copy remove locked remove is also interesting if you have downloaded something you can import and export but if you switch between my layout and extended layout then you are seeing this thing here now and if we go to plasma it's going to be this kind of thing so we have here actually a kind of new toolbar with actually the menu as well so you can get rid of the other menu and use just this one if you like and then you have the unity switch which is more yeah or unity remember ubuntu kind of thing so it's here this thing is only that thing and we have all the icons here and there it is this unity thing so best to go back to my layout which is just the normal dock and then go to the downloads so this is probably where people will say oh yeah okay so there are some possibilities to download a different kind of looks and probably more on the internet so the latte dock add-on installer just google for latte I guess latte doc and let's try run one I saw something something about Mac here Mac OS let's see what it is maybe first details so do I like it or not Mac OS okay install it and then close so we have this this thing here and we switch to this thing and does this look mm-hmm Okay, we have here some elements down here. Application dashboard. Something completely different. So it's, it sometimes goes very far, but um, it's just not an, uh, a dock. It's actually a menu, a complete new menu that you have with all kind of icons that we do not have. So I do not have Falcon, I do not have Chromium browser etc etc so all these questions 
are things I just don't have. That's why the icons are missing. So installing is, is, is important, but uninstalling is important as well. So if this is active, I cannot remove it. So I need to go back to my layout and then say switch. When my layout or this general dock here is here, then we can say remove this thing again. So there you go, you have lots of possibilities. I've not explored them myself, all of them. But as you can see, it just goes beyond just having a dock. It has, uh, it can be really uh, replacing your, your menu that you have at this point in time. So there you go, have some fun with Latte. Cheers.